Sections 6.4 to 6.6 uh, all revolve around optimization problems and linear programming. In order to understand this section, I need to go over some vocabulary with you first. So here are some definitions. An optimization problem is a problem where a quantity must be maximized or minimized following a set of conditions or guidelines called constraints. An objective function is the equation that represents the relationship between the two variables in the system of linear inequalities and it also is the quantity to be optimized. Feasible region is the solution region for a system of linear inequalities that is modeling an optimization problem. And optimal solution is a point in the solution set that represents the maximum or minimum value of the objective function. Let's do an example because it's really the best way for you to learn this is just by doing examples. So, Example 1. A toy company manufactures two types of toy vehicles, racing cars and SUVs. Because the supply of materials is limited, no more than 40 racing cars and 60 SUVs can be made each day. The company can make 70 or more vehicles in total each day. It costs $8 to make a racing car and $12 to make an SUV. Which combinations of the two types of vehicles will result in a maximum and minimum production cost and at what will these costs be? Let S be the number of, of SUVs and let R be the number of racing cars. S and R have to be whole numbers because we can't produce half or negative of a car or SUV. So our constraints. R is going to be less than or equal to 40 because we can produce no more than 40 racing cars per day. S is going to be less than or equal to 60 because we can produce no more than 60 SUVs per day. R plus S is greater than or equal to 70 because 70 or more vehicles are made in total each day. Our objective function is the thing to be maximized or minimized. Well, that's our cost in this case. It costs $12 to make an SUV and $8 to make a racing car. So C, our cost, is equal to 12 times S, the number of SUVs, plus 8 times R, the number of race cars. Let's graph the system of equality, inequalities to see what our solution set is going to be. Racing cars versus SUVs. So my first uh, inequality was R is less than or equal to 40. So I'm going to shade that area with a highlighter. So here's my solution set reason, region for R is less than or equal to 40. Racing cars are 40. Here's my dotted line going across. Here's my region. The next one I have is S is less than or equal to 60. Here's 60, so I'm going to shade my region for 60. Here's my shaded region for S is less than or equal to 60. Now I still need to shade R plus X is greater than R plus S is greater than or equal to 70. So I've drawn my line by finding my S intercept, that's R is equal to 0, is 70, comma 0, and my R intercept, where S is equal to 0, is 0, comma 70. So I found my two points, I've dotted along my ruler, so now I'm going to highlight, oh, but which side do I need to highlight? Do I need to highlight the top or the bottom? Let's check if 0, 0 is in our solution set. Is 0 plus 0 greater than or equal to 70? No, it is not. So 0, 0 is not in my solution set. That means that I'm going to be highlighting what is above the line. So now you can see I have one very, very dark region here where all three of my graphs have overlapped. This is called the feasible region. This is the region where my solutions are likely to appear. The possible solutions are the intersection points of the boundaries of the feasible region. So the intersection points of the boundaries will be 3040, 6040, and 6010. If one or more of these intersecting boundaries is not part of the solution set, the optimal solution will be nearby. The three vertices of our feasible region were 6040, 6010, and 3040. We can put these values into our optimization formula. So if S comma R is 6040, that's our first one here, is 6040, 
12 times 60 plus 8 times 40 is equal to $1,040 for our production cost. If SNR is equal to 6010, then 12 times 60 plus 8 times 10 yields $800 for our production cost. And if SNR is 3040, 12 times 30 plus 8 times 40 equals $680 for our production cost. So the company can maximize production costs by making the maximum number of SUVs and race cars per day, 60 and 40. This makes sense. They can minimize costs by making 30 SUVs and 40 race cars per day. That yields the least cost. Let's check our solutions meet our constraints. So R is less than or equal to 40, S is less than or equal to 60, and R plus S is greater than or equal to 70. Let's check our minimum. Our minimum was 3040. So S comma R is equal to 3040. Is 40 less than or equal to 40? Well, yes, it's equal. Is 30 less than or equal to 60? Yes. So 30 plus 40, is that greater than or equal to 70? Yes. So all of our constraints are satisfied for our minimum. Let's check our maximum of 6040. Is 40 greater than, sorry, is 40 less than or equal to 40? Yes. Is 60 less than or equal to 60? Yes. Is 60 plus 40 greater than or equal to 70? Yes. So all of our constraints have been satisfied. So these are our minimum and maximum points for this question.